Today we're going to talk about how to access your school files saved to the network drive from any other computer that's connected to the internet. Because it's all about accessing school files from home. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you want to keep working on a project that you started at school. Maybe you forgot a file at school and you need to work on it at home and it's due tomorrow. Maybe your teacher has put resources on the school network for you to use or you've got something at home that you need to upload to the school network. That's what the connect portal can do for you. How do you get there? Point your browser to connect.tamdistrict.org. Log in with your username and password, the same one you use to log into a school computer, and keep watching for the rest of the details. I'm going to log in now. And this is the view that you'll get when you land in the Connect portal. Uh, I've got a few different options that you may not see, but the one we want to focus on is called the Home Directory right here. Click it, and you will see a list first of all of your folders or directories that you've created, and below that, you will see a list of individual files. So I've got one here that we'll take a look at, 3D printed promotional keychain. I'll click. It's going to ask me where I want to download to. The default in my case is downloads. This is where you folks have to pay attention to the name of the file and where you're saving it. This is really important. I'll save my download. The reason it's important is that just because you save the file to your computer and you open and work on it here, you still need to know where it is and upload it back to the school network drive when you are done. Let's open this up in Word. And our file is open in Word. I'm going to jump in, change a font, save it. Now this is where people often run into trouble because just because I've saved it doesn't mean that the version that I just created is saved on the school network. It's saved on my computer. So what you have to do is go back to the Connect portal and I'm going to look in the upper right and click on the button labeled Upload Files. I can upload five files at one time. I'll start by choosing the file I want to upload. I remember it was in my Downloads folder. There it is. It's been saved. I'll click Open and in the lower left hand corner click upload. Now that file is being uploaded to my drive and it has opened because there was an existing file there it renamed it to include today's date and now the new version is saved onto the school network for me to use. Again it's really important after you finish your work at home you have to upload that file again. My suggestion is always to upload the file using the connect portal like we just did and also email it to yourself, put it on Dropbox, put it on a flash drive and bring it to school. It's always best to have two different ways to get that file to school if it really counts. And let's go back to the home directory for a second. And now we're back at the home directory. You'll see I have access to some other drives as well. The S drive, the M drive, and the N drive. You'll have access to the N drive as a student. And the N drive is a place where your teacher can place resources for you to use across our network, whether it's at school or when you're using the Connect portal and you're connected over the internet. So this is a great place to go and download those files that you need to get the job done. Once you're done using the Connect Portal, whether you're at home or at school, I really recommend you click on the Sign Out button in the upper right hand corner. Thanks for watching. Any questions, put them in the comment section below and have a great day.